Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the 80 plus certification standard for power supplies. If you're unfamiliar with what that means, I've included a link in the description to the wiki page, which will give much more information and much more technical information as well than I'm intending today. But basically, it's a rating system for power supply manufacturers to follow for the energy efficiency in their power supplies that they're making. Okay, so computer power supplies, they take in AC current and they convert it to DC current for the computer to use. And then this conversion process is by no means perfect. There's always some electricity that actually becomes lost as heat, so which essentially is just a waste product from that conversion process. So where the 80 plus certification comes into is basically uh, it's guaranteeing 80% or more efficiency. So 20% or less power loss in that conversion. And depending on the level, which is, there's different levels for it. There's 80 plus, then there's 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, 80 plus gold, 80 plus platinum, and 80 plus titanium. With increasing demands of the conversion efficiency at varying levels of the power output versus the peak power output. Now that does sound kind of confusing there, but the wiki article definitely will explain it a little better and there's some graphs and such to show. So in this video anyway, what I'm trying to accomplish is I want to show a typical computer setup with two different power supplies, one that is an 80 plus bronze and then the other that is an 80 plus gold. And this will give you an idea, hopefully, of the potential power savings between the two standards of bronze and gold. So the first power supply that I'm going to be testing is the Corsair CX430M. As the name would imply, it's a 430 watt power supply, and this is an 80 plus bronze rated power supply. And then for the second power supply, I'm going to be using a Corsair CS450. And this obviously is a 450 watt power supply, and it is a gold rated power supply. So it may look a little odd that I'm comparing a 430 and a 450 watt power supply, but it actually won't make any difference as we're using the exact same system that's going to be uh, pulling the exact same power, give or take, from each of the supplies. So what we're going to be comparing though is how much wattage the power supply pulls from the wall. That is actually going to be where we're going to see the most difference as less of the energy conversion will be turned into heat between the two certifications. And so basically it's not mattering that they are two different peak outputs. So to measure the power consumption at the wall, I'm going to be using this Belkin Watt monitor. And I like this because it allows the display output to be mounted uh, a good distance away from the actual outlet, so it makes it much more convenient to work with. So to simulate a heavy workload on the computer, I'm going with the old tried and true Prime 95 to run the CPU up to 100%. And then I'll be using Furmark here, as you can see, to run the GPU up to 100%. So both uh, testing is going to be done exactly this way. So the only variable will be the power supply itself. So anyway, let's see how that turns out. So here's the 430 on the bench, and as you can see in the corner there, I have a close-up of the watt monitor. So we can kind of watch uh, that bounce up and down a little bit and give us an idea of what is coming out of the wall right now. So we can see here it's kind of hovering around that 380 watt mark. I've seen uh, 384 we saw near the beginning of the clip. So that's a pretty good representation uh, of the power draw of the CX430 on this test bench. So now we've got the gold power supply on the test bench here, the 450 watt CS, and we can immediately see that it's about 20 watts less of a power draw. 
So just by changing a power supply from a bronze to a gold rating, we're instantly saving 20 watts of power that would normally be converted into heat. Now over time, this could uh, end up you know, being a, a fairly significant amount of money, not a huge amount of money, but where this may prove uh, more worthwhile is when you get into multi-GPU configurations, then at that point the difference between a bronze and a gold might be quite a bit higher when you have a lot more power being drawn by the components. So to wrap it all up, in my little testing here, we saw that that 20 watt savings between the bronze and the gold, uh, that, you know, it's about 5%. That's nothing to completely discredit. Uh, it's definitely would ramp up more. Like for example, if you had a 1000 watt power draw that the system was using, then you would, uh, that 5% would be more like 50 watts. And 50 watts of less heat output, that may make the difference of an air conditioning running more or less, depending on where you live. Uh, 50 watts also, depending on where you live, could be a lot more than other places as far as energy usage. And that would also depend too, like how long are you running at peak capacity? How long do you game? How long are you rendering? How long is your server running? If you have a 24 seven server running with a bunch of hard drives and it's uh, backing up computers, doing other file serving, uh, whether it's connecting to the internet, doing stuff like that, you could uh, have a potential savings with a higher rated power supply in that kind of an environment as well too. So there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, the biggest considering factor would definitely be um, the cost of the power supply. So, you know, you can't spend a hundred more dollars to save 5% on your power bill because even in the life of the power supply, you may never see that again. So it's just a neat little uh, video that I wanted to show off here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give me the thumbs down as well too. And any kind of feedback is definitely appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching.